Glory to God. You see, we've got a message for the whole world. And we want them to know Jesus didn't die for nothing. That man that died on the cross didn't die a religious death. No! He's real. He's real in my heart. Hallelujah. And one of these days he'll come back. And I'm looking forward to that. He's coming again. And that's what we're telling men and women around the world get ready. It's coming again. It's coming again. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we that are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Prepare your life because it's coming again. We're not preaching for nothing. No, we're getting men and women prepared for the soon coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming for a church without spots without wrinkle or any blemish or any such thing a church that is holy and undefiled a church that's living in faith walking in faith walking in the word of God manifesting the realities of the kingdom of God that's the church is coming for if that kingdom is not in your heart there's no way you're gonna go in there it's for those who have lived it from their spirits and that's why the Bible talks about the spirits of just men made perfect those who have gone ahead of us one day very soon we will be caught up from here this world is not our home it belongs to us but it's not our home we're the seed of Abraham so get ready as we celebrate soul winning and soul winners rejoice rejoice because one soul means so much to God the Bible says for the salvation of just one soul there's joy in heaven I wonder why any Christian would ask the question, must I preach the gospel? What else do you want to preach? What is your life for? Why do you live? Why do you live? What do you want to live for? He left us here to win souls to Christ. He gave us the whole world. It means so much to him. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. That he might destroy the works of the devil and save men and bring them into the righteousness of God that's what we live for there's no other reason it's not for your business it's not for your biological family there's a spiritual family that means so much to God that's what you live for and if you make up your mind to be what God raised you to be then you fulfill his dream don't live for nothing don't live an empty life it's useless to do so give your heart to the Lord truly and say Lord Jesus I belong to you and I'll live every day for you. I'll keep your consciousness in my mind, in my soul, in my spirit every day. And walk in the knowledge of his victory. And be the victor that he has made you. Refuse to succumb to the pressures of this world. Refuse. Stand strong in him. Be alive and alive. Because Christ Jesus has given you power over all devils. He's given you power over fear. Be not afraid of anything. Stand strong because he's made you a victor in this life as he is so are we in this world and when he comes again we'll bring our sheaves with us glory to God we'll present all that we have won to him and he will say well done thou good and faithful servant enter into the joy of thy Lord that's what our singing is for that's what our worship is for that's what our giving is for that's what everything we do is for with that consciousness my Lord is coming again. He's coming. So gratico, so frapadiras. He's coming. The glorious go show from Padilla Hakonus those legal so frapas. He's called the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So Krabasidia. The same God the prophets knew. The same God the apostles knew. Thank God. So Kabasharas. What the name under heaven given amongst men whereby they may be saved. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Washington.